What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here. Now, when you reach part 5, this is kind of where I kind of lose you or kind of confuse you. Now, you could back this build up and just install it on this device. For my example, I'm on a Mac, so I can just install it on this device just because I've built it on here. Now, if I wanted to take it to a different device such as Android or Fire TV, you're going to have to back it up. But there's some complications with that so what we're gonna do is um, just exit Cody out real quick and we're gonna go to this one of the section on the folders you're gonna actually have to go to your uh, Cody folder so you see right here and you have to go to user data now user data what you're gonna do first is um, delete thumbnails just because it the thumbnail section will be primarily the reason why your large amount on your um, backup zip file goes up more than three or five hundred megabytes right or seven hundred or however many and plus how many wallpapers you actually high-res wallpapers that you actually included on there so what we're gonna do is uh, thumbnails we're just gonna go ahead and delete that and the other thing you have to actually delete is going to the database folder and textures 13 now um, I've seen this on a different tutorial um, and they deleted it so I've been deleting it for all the bills that I've been using so don't ask me why I, I, I do so the next thing we're gonna do is go to sources and you can see that there's stuff right here so in the Mac I could actually um, choose um, a program called sublime text or you could use the text edit and stuff like that so what we're going to change here is the fact that you could actually what we're looking for is a, lo a location path so for mine instance is um, user and my name and you can see where I get it now you're gonna highlight the slash all the way to the slash of the Cody right there so you can see it right there and then what you're gonna do is try to find um, quick find all right so any section that has that and it, I just have two matches and we're just gonna replace that with actual um, right here um, special two dots two two uh, two slash homes and slash so we're just gonna go ahead and replace that and over here is the most important thing is you have to actually save it now once we save that we're gonna go to um, favorites and click uh, to the notepad again and you can see it's it sucks but you have to do it this way to in order to bring it to a different device so we're just gonna quick find all again and replace it by the special home replace all and make sure you always save it and then the other thing we're gonna do is the GUI settings and we're just gonna look for anything unusual you know that comes up that with that location and we're gonna go to advanced setting and obviously there's nothing now be careful when on your build because you're gonna be taking passwords and usernames if you try to share it with somebody so make sure you actually um, default the login and usernames and all that before you actually uh, do all this so now that we have that now let's go back to our Cody alright now that we're back on Cody we're actually gonna download the the backup um, program add-on so we could actually install it so we're gonna go to add-on browser again I'm gonna have this um, backup repository I mean add-on on the below down below in the description and it's by made by a Zuni to talk repository so I'm gonna have you get that as well so we're gonna go and install from a zip file and just gonna go to my downloads folder and I'm just gonna use the plugin USB wizard once that's enabled you're gonna actually go to the program section 
and you're going to bring up the contacts menu which is by clicking the letter C or holding the home button on your I mean the middle button of your Nvidia shield or menu button with the three lines on your fire TV and go to settings now once you're here you're gonna have a destination I'm just gonna go to a desktop and go ahead and click OK and click OK now once you're, once you're here you're gonna choose backup and you're just gonna do full backup now once this goes through I'm gonna have you back up a few other things so that way it can get all the other uh, info for for this build that when you're transferring it to a different file now once you come to this section now you are backed up I would highly suggest you getting the, um, the backup source this is for your um, from your repositories so you can actually um, send it to your other devices as well and then just um, by just doing uh, this one as well so and then you could have as much as you want now if I do go out of this now that it's backed up we're gonna see a bunch of this right here so the backup zip file actually is um, 600 megabytes just because of my wallpapers that I've included usually uh, without wallpapers or one or two or a few wallpapers it'd be at least 300 megabytes usually it'd be like 300 to 200 megabytes depending on the, the build and how many add-ons and all that stuff so you basically zip this file up into a folder and you're just gonna back it up and put it on USB and just install by um, doing this so this is a fresh Kodi 17 obviously and I'm just gonna choose uh, a few things that I need to change before I go ahead and um, upload the the build that we just built right now so we're gonna go to add-ons and go to uh, this one right here Start from a zip file Go to settings, unknown sources, click yes, go back to it, install from a zip file, and from here we're going to actually install the, the plugin wizard. So you're going to choose that one, right? And then once that's been enabled, we're just going to go to uh, programs, obviously program add-ons. I'm going to click the letter C and bring up the contacts menu on your shield. It's the circle button in the middle. Hold that down until this comes up. On your Fire TV, it's the menu button with the three lines in the circle. Choose that. And then we're just going to choose the destination, which is the desktop. That is where the, the backup zip file folder or wherever you put it on the USB or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and click OK. And choose this one. And we're going to go to Restore. Right here, you're going to see that I have the other XMLs as well because it's open to that folder. But first, we're going to actually do the full restore. Now, I am on a Mac, and I did the, um, the build on a Mac, so it should primarily should be an uh, easy uh, transition. And then we're just going to go ahead and restore the GUI, restore source, restore advanced settings. Now, once you go out of it, obviously nothing's going to change until you do so. So settings and go to uh, interface and go to skin and choose excellence and then yes. See, from there, everything should be um, back to the way you, you have it. So now the other thing is uh, sometimes the widgets doesn't come through like this then you're gonna have to go back and do it again so that's basically it on the Exfluence Cody 17 Krypton uh, create your own build with the Exfluence uh, skin and thanks again for watching thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and follow us on Twitter at XBM connect to keep up with the updates